Hello everyone, this is Diane Moss with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Gary Green and I'm here at Chic Floors with Ehab Gadham, Gadban. He is a neighbor and a friend of mine in Glenlock Farms in Spring and he is a business owner in our neighborhood and I'd like to promote him. Hey, how you doing Ehab? Good, you? Doing fine. Nice doing to fine. see you. Nice Thank to you. see you. Okay, the thing that I want to interview Ehab with is because I'm redoing my master bath and this is Ehab's store and look at the flooring this is so fabulous because if you don't know what you're going to do he's got all kinds of ideas and all kinds of materials for you to look at but look at this 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 is not very cool this is herringbone and then here's this okay so now we're going to talk to Ehab because look you can come in and sit down and talk to him. Okay, so Ehab's going to talk about his business with me, and he's going to help me pick out the things that I need for our master bath. And I appreciate his advice. So anyway, how long have you been doing this? Uh, say about eight years. Mm -hmm. And in this location? No, we actually have the store down the street on the other side. Uh, for a little over three years, and then we moved here about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So, owning my own business, about five years. Cool, cool. But I worked with different companies before for a few years. Uh huh. And I Get decided experience. to just yep do I, your own. And I decided to be my own boss. And you came here. You lived previously in Katy, right? Actually, in Richmond. In Richmond. Richmond. Okay. Which is close to Katy. Mm hmm. Was, yes. Uh, Hell of a drive every day. It was. Then it and for about six years. I remember this because I assisted you in the sale of your, or the purchase of your house True. in Glenlock Farms. True. Right? True, yes. I remember showing you a house in the bluff, which is where I live. And, you know, I, uh, I was okay with that house. It's just the wife. <laughs> no. Well, the wife's got to be happy. Yep. yep. Okay, so you, you made your commute a whole lot shorter by moving to Glenlock. God, yes. <laughs> Live better. Yeah. 15 minutes, I get to see the kids more. Oh, I just, okay. I get to, I mean, before I used to go home and either they're asleep or they're about mm -hmm. to be asleep. So, beautiful daughters. Thank you. You do. So. You know, with the traffic too, so yes. it, it wasn't easy at all. Uh, well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. And you get I'm a lot of business yeah. in... <laughs> In Glenlock, and we want to promote that some more, and maybe expand it a little bit to into the spring area. So this will be posted on sure. the Park Bench uh, website, and you, I'll give you a copy, and you can post it. Thank you. And I'd love, um, I would love to. Good. That sounds and great. And I, I want to tell people, I mean, who is better than Diane Moss? Ooh, thank Please you. Please use her. Thank you. I, I appreciate this. So I'm going to quickly just let Ehab help me choose all of this. These are the things that I have decided that I've wanted. Okay, this is the tile that I want. It's so sophisticated. And I'm going to go with the tile wood looking floors, which are the rage and I absolutely love. And then the choice for the granite or the quartz, which I'm going to have Ehab talk about the difference between the quartz and what is trending now. So, why don't you tell us? Well, uh, it's very simple. Uh, granite is a, a product of nature. Uh, there's nothing added to it. It's just cut, uh, sealed, polished, and installed. Quartz is a more of a man-made product, so there is more work into it, and uh, it's antimicrobial. Uh, no sealer needed. Um, oh. It's a lot less maintenance, and that's why we see that quartz, generally speaking, is a little bit more expensive than, than granite. Well, let, now, me, let me stop for, sure. for a second, because I've heard rumors, and not from professionals, about granite. First, granite, you, you had to seal it every so often, then you don't have to seal it. What do you have to do with with the maintenance of granite. Well, yeah, you do have to seal it. Now, we general idea it's once a year, but it doesn't have to be once a year. It all depends on the 
how much you use it, how much you clean it. Clean it. If you're a party person, you clean a lot, you cook a lot, then you might want to seal it every six months or nine months. Mm -hmm. If you don't use it that much, you don't, you know, you don't have to clean it every day, then you might clean it, uh, uh, seal it every two to three years. Okay. Depends on the sealer that you use as well. Okay. You just have to make sure that your countertop are cleaned and dry before you seal them. Okay, great. Okay, this is the tile that I picked out. This is the sample of the same tile. Look at the difference. And the Ehab's going to explain to you about the variations in natural stone. Well, uh, uh, when it comes to natural stone, you uh, you do have to go to the yard. You choose the, your own slab. You look at their sample here, and then the, the big slab might be a totally different different color. That's why we recommend that people go to the slab yard, choose their own slabs, and then we pick it up, fabricate, and install. When it comes to portional tile, this is really the what you just showed people is unusual. There is a big difference between the two tiles, but one of them is very old, is like four years old, and the other one is uh, brand new. Now, also tile, they have dye lots. They might come in different shades. You will never have the same exact what you see here. It will be shade off. But again, that's why I have those two samples to explain to people like you're not going to get exactly what you see. Uh, now, if you were to buy one from me and get the other one, no, this is a big difference. So mm -hmm. it's not, uh, you know, we don't accept it. Okay. Uh, but, you know, we recommend that people go uh, with natural stone. They have to go to the granite yard with quartz. They don't have to. It's what, what they see here is what they get. With porcelain, they will have to live with the shade off of what they see here. Okay, that's great. Yeah. All right, I also want to say that what surprised me, I thought I would just be picking out the tile, but Ehab is arranging for everything to be being done except for the cabinets. I have to pick out my cabinet and my seamless shower door. And we're going and we to... And we can work with, uh, if you have a contractor, we can work with uh, scheduling uh, with them. Mm -hmm. uh, we do um, work around any contractor. Now, we do the plumbing. Um, we do the whole the whole thing like we're gonna wait till the cabinets are installed then we install the uh, countertop um, we'll do the uh, granite uh, and the as we talked about in the shower on the ledge on the pony wall mm -hmm. we're gonna be changing the faucet uh, shower head um, and then after the last thing will have to be the, uh, the seamless shower door they'll have to come and uh, uh, measure after we're done Okay, and also one of the other things, I'm going to walk over here of really course. quickly oh, barn and door. show you <laughs> <laughs> the next big trend is the barn door and Ehab has one right here in his office and this is going to be the kind of door that I'm going to put in into my master bath and I'm very excited. So you Ehab, have to thank, hmm? we have to thank Laura, uh, she used to work with me for this door. We actually fought over over this door <laughs> I didn't want it and she fought me big time to get it and ever since we have it, everybody that comes in they love it so thank you Laura there you go <laughs> all right we're gonna end this now and I just want to say thank you so thank much. you my pleasure thank and you and this was this was a lot of fun and I look forward to a beautiful master bath and you all can look forward to me doing a before and after because so he had you can Would see the that. work and the quality sure. that he will do love that okay love promoting local businesses thank you love promote you know contributing to the economy and thank you again Ehab. my pleasure I appreciate thank you it. thanks for coming <laughs>